YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, something a little bit different to start off because today uh, we just got back this jersey. It's, it's drying off from being very damp because I was very sweaty because it was very hot outside. But we just got back, me, my wife, Carter, my mom even came through too, uh, to Lamar Jackson's fun day uh, that he had today uh, out at Mullins Park. And it, it was cool, man. It was cool. It was chill. It wasn't like all wild and stuff. It wasn't all these people going, it wasn't, it wasn't all that, like that. It, it was a very fun but chill event. Uh, it wasn't crazy. It wasn't nobody acting like dumb. It wasn't nobody on no stupid stuff. Everybody was chill. Everybody was respectful, all of that. And I appreciated that a lot. Um, but it was a, an event that was catered toward the kids um, where the kid, they had the bounce houses out there, they had the uh, food trucks out there, they had the Kona Icy truck out there, uh, they had music, they had people working the barbecue, it was just a nice vibe, man, straight up, it was a nice vibe, a nice, relaxing, chill, well, it, nothing was chill about it because it was so hot, but it, it was a chilling vibe, man. it was a vibe, man, so I appreciate it, shout out to Lamar for coming out there Because at first I was thinking Hold up man Is, is Lamar going to come through Cause I, I don't know man We've been out here for like an hour I ain't seen no But then this uh, Dark gray What was that A G-Wagon I don't know what it was But a dark gray Jeep or G-Wagon Whatever it was Pulled up And it had security escorting I was like Okay there, there he goes And that dude came through And These kids Literally they bombarded this guy man uh, if Ravens, th their pass rush needs to take a note from them kids because they got after Lamar like that, like right away. Check out our Instagram story and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Our Instagram is Engraven Viz, but it was a super nice event. Uh, Carter got to meet Lamar Jackson, say what's up to him. So that was cool. He was talking to everybody, meeting everybody and whatnot. Um, but something that I was thinking about, I'm like, man, this guy has this event. That he could have charged for. He could have charged for this event. He could have distributed tickets for the event and whatnot and, and, and charged people for tickets. But he didn't. And it wouldn't have been anything wrong with him charging for it. Because, hey, he's a businessman. He got to make his bread. He got to take care of himself, his family, all that stuff. But it was free. Now, I'm sure he got paid for the appearance, but the event was free. They could have made even more money. Could have made money off of getting paid for the appearance and made money off the ticket sales. But he said no. Nope. Free. 100% free. Only thing you had to do was register online. And then to, to top that off, tomorrow they're having a seven on sevens. Now that's going to be a whole nother environment tomorrow, but it should be fun. I'm not sure if we're going to go to that or not, but tomorrow that's what they have. So shout out to Lamar Jackson. Um, shout out to, uh, shout out to Dez, shout out to Dez from Pompano, got to meet him, uh, shout out to T-Pin Dale, uh, was chilling with him for a minute too, he came through, shout out to my guy BZ, uh, he was there as well, so yeah man, it, it was su super cool man, super cool. Now, um, speaking of Lamar Jackson, we, uh, we have a question from subscriber, it's a little bonus question from subscriber, from my guy Kevin S., uh, and he said, hey, my brother, hope the family is good and keep up the blessed work. I got a question. Appreciate you. We are good. We are all very hot, but we are good. Anyway, he said, why don't people count Lamar Jackson's rushing yards added to his passing? Just follow me. If he rushed for 1,000 yards, that's 1,000 yards less he's able to pass for. But I never heard anyone point this out. What are your thoughts? People point that out all the time. I, I, people point it out all the time. All the time. Whenever they talk about Lamar Jackson, and they talk about his numbers and whatnot, they always put his rushing yards in there. It, when they're talking about him, his numbers in, in their totality. Now, if they're just going quarterback against quarterback, and, and they're just showing stats for them throwing, then they, they don't include the rushing yards a lot of times. Sometimes they still do, but sometimes they don't. It, it, it all depends on what you're watching and the, what sort of angle they're trying to push or what sort of narrative they're trying to show you. What, it depends on where they're going. Oh, but he had a follow-up email too. He said, I demand that they add his rushing yards to his passing. 
Lamar Jackson, 2019, rushed for 1,206 yards and passed for 3,127. So it was a total of 4,300 yards uh, and 43 touchdowns. 2020, he rushed for 1,005 yards and passed for over 2,700. Uh, so a total of, of over 3,700 yards. So I, I didn't feel like saying the exact numbers. I, I got lazy. And 33 touchdowns in one less game. Uh, total yards and total touchdowns need to mean more than just passing yards. So, yeah, like, I, it's, it's, it's not a big deal, though. The, the, the biggest number, in my opinion, that matters the most that people need to make sure they count when it comes to Lamar Jackson is wins. Ain't no chance for the man.